So the first thing you'll need is a white pencil to sketch out the outline shape you want. So once you've decided what side of the face you want this to go on, you want to draw around the eyes, go over the nose and go down the whole neck and then bring it onto the chest slightly by rounding it up. So this is a space where Pennywise will be. Then anything outside of the line we're going to cover with foundation just to even out the skin tone. So I am taking the NYX Mineral Stick Foundation. I'm just going to draw some lines onto the face and a little bit down the neck. And then I'm taking a big brush and I'm just going to buff this in. And then of course to set the foundation I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Pressed Powder and I'm using a large fluffy brush just to press this into the skin and make sure that cream stick foundation is all set. Now I'm moving on to my eyes. I have previously applied some of that cream stick foundation to the eyes and that will act as a primer. And then I'm going to move on to the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I'm using this yellowy toned orange shadow. This is a beautiful matte crease colour and this is called Chickadee from Makeup Geek. This is the best yellow eyeshadow I've ever used and this is Max Chrome Yellow. I absolutely love this one. And again it's a matte eyeshadow and it's the most gorgeous colour ever. I'm using a small precision eyeshadow brush to really pack this on the lid. And then I'm going in with a darker muted orange tone, which again is a matte shadow. So, so far everything on the eyes is going to be matte. This time I'm using a smaller precision fluffy brush and I'm applying this again back into the crease. Different tones added together absolutely blend beautifully together, especially the orange and that lighter toned orange. And then for a little bit of shimmer, I'm taking the Makeup Geek Shimmer Shimmer Eyeshadow and I'm applying this to the brow bone, just to add a slight bit of shine. And then of course I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. I'm using the Freedom Brow Pomade in Taupe and I'm using an angled brush with a spoolie just to apply my brows. Okay, now I want to block out my other eyebrow. Pennywise doesn't have an eyebrow. I am taking the Snazaru Special Effects Wax to do this. You can use a glue stick if you want, but I just prefer this method. So I'm really pressing down the hairs as flat as I can to the skin. And then I'm taking the RCMA No Colour Translucent Powder with a large powder puff just to really press it into the skin and set the wax. Once that is all pressed in, I'm just going in with a large clean brush and, buff and buffing away any of that excess powder. Awesome. 
and then I am taking the Snazzery face paint in white I am very very low on this now so I need to get a new one and I'm going to fill in the whole inside space that we have drawn out for Pennywise because I don't have a lot of this left it is very it is going thin in transparency so it's not very opaque anymore this paint just because I don't have a lot of it left so I have to work in layers with this so I apply the first layer going with the second layer going with the third layer I believe I did about three or four layers Then I'm taking the 15 matte eyeshadow palette from eBay, it's just a cheap matte eyeshadow palette and I'm using the black shade with a really large brush and I'm going to messily apply this all over the eyes. You don't want this to be neat at all. The more messier this looks, the better the whole outcome will look because the messier and grungy it looks, the more sinister he will look in the end. So I'm just filling in the whole eyelid, going into the crease, going over the brow slightly and I'm also going to create some thin little lines with this using a thinner brush to look like expression lines within the makeup. So anywhere you would naturally crease when you scrunch your face up, you want to create these lines with this black eyeshadow and any little crow's feet or fine lines around the eyes. Okay, next my favourite part is the blood. I'm going to be taking the Snazaroo Special Effects Cake Blood. This one is water activated just like the face paints. And I'm going to paint this onto my nose, slightly rounded button nose. The reason why I'm using cake blood and not a red face paint is because it's a darker red and it has more of a deeper tone to this rather than using a straight up red which is too clownish. This one has more of a sinister vibe because it's more of a darker blood red. And then with this I'm going to also paint in my lips. Now you don't have to use this, you can go ahead and use a liquid lipstick if you want to. I just preferred using this. But if you do want this to last all night, I would recommend going in with a blood red liquid lipstick because it will dry matte, you can drink and eat with this and it will last all night. Of course I'm going to sketch in Pennywise's famous little lines going from the mouth up to the eyes and go through the brow. You want to take your time with this and perfect the line as much as you can. And then do half a little smile on the other side, just where the little gap is. And then finally finishing off the little smile line by doing a little tiny precision line through the brow. So that's the Pennywise makeup done but now I want to add a bit more dimension to the skin to make it look like it's folded up on itself and folded back as if I've stretched the skin open and you can see Pennywise underneath. So to do this I am taking a mid-tone brown matte shadow. Again it doesn't have to be too dark or too light, just a mid-tone colour. And I'm using an angled small brush to create these little lines. I don't want them to be completely connected. Some of them are broken lines, just random lines, as if it's got a crease in the skin. So I want it to look like there's tension there. So I'm doing this the whole way around the whole edge, but I'm not doing it completely connected lines. Some of them are broken and jagged and rough and bumpy, but I want it to look like that. I don't want it to look completely smooth. Then I'm taking a stipple sponge which adds texture to the skin and I'm adding the black and the brown shadow together just to apply all over the white skin so it looks more dirty and grungy because I felt the white looked too clownish and plain and it just didn't look right so I wanted to add a bit more texture. And then on the waterline on both sides I am taking the LA Girl Glide Gel Liner Pencil in black and this one is a very pigmented black pencil and I'm applying this the whole way across my waterline. And then of course you want to apply some mascara to your lashes. So I'm using the PS Primark Lashified Mascara.
going back to that matte palette again now using a fluffier brush i'm taking the black and the brown shadows together and i am blending and buffing and adding some more dimension to the skin almost like contour within the skin so anywhere shadows would be from pulling back the skin and darkness would be around the edges and especially around the jawline and around the edges of the pulled back skin you'll apply this shadow and then I'm applying the yellow block contact lenses from Camo Eyes. These are amazing quality and they are very, very pigmented contacts. I have very dark brown eyes, so they covered them completely. And I'm applying this yellow contact just on the Pennywise side. And that is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun creating this half and half Pennywise and George Halloween makeup tutorial. I wanted to do something again involving the It Clown, but I wanted to do something with Georgie as well. And that's when it clicked I should do half and half. So I really hope you enjoyed this one. The yellow raincoat definitely adds to the look. This is the makeup I will be doing for sure this Halloween. I absolutely love this one. This is definitely my favourite I have done. If you do recreate this look, please tag me on Instagram or Facebook. I would love to see or even Twitter. Again, hope you have an amazing Halloween and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye guys. If you will come with me, you'll float too.